Hi guys, Silver Jew here, and it's now it's time for another monthly barn tour. So this is the May barn tour of my farm. There has actually been one major change because I have actually had a slight change in setup as such in my bedroom, as I now have a new bed. So the whole of my yard has been switched around. So and also I have a couple of new people to you for you guys to meet in my new barn tour. Okay, so this is like our entrance, we have a sign, some like models at the front, flowers, what we offer and stuff. And then if we turn back around, this is like the walk-in. We have like our car park area where our wagons and trucks and trailer go, but they're out at the moment. So I'm going to just give you guys a quick overview and then we'll go from there. So... So you can kind of see a slight change in setup, and of course we have the same kind of set up on the bookshelves. Okay, so start over here and then work our way around. So this is our first new thing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, what is um, Slivershoe199, uh, you'll see that I actually put a picture of that I was making this new stable. So it's now finished, it's for our retired pony, so they've now switched into a different stable. So we have some, um, just some felt at the bottom for be the like, grass. They have an outdoor area and an indoor area. So in this outdoor area here we have Jester. Oh, chuckle to laughter. If I know their show names I will do. She's a Pinto mare. This is Skippy. He is a Pinto gelding. And here's Geneva's boxing match. And then over here we have like the door that slides to shut. So it just slides back out again. I will probably put a proper door in there, but the door what kind of cut out here to put here broke. And then this bit I didn't think about cleaving that bit in, so I used the cardboard for other things. Uh, so it's got some mat felt at the bottom to be like rubber matting, which just knocked one of the horses over. And then it's got some straw on the ground. We have a little water trough here. Um, and then in the back we have a hay bar with some hay and some bale of hay at the bottom. So this is Mike, or best mate, he's the train pony. And this is Tom, or finding directions, and he is the Arabian. So next to them is our dog pen. Dog pen hasn't changed really. Um, I am tempted to make them their own like proper stable block, like not stable block, but as proper like dog area because this is a little bit small for the amount of dogs I now now have. So we have a water bowl here. This is Dotty. He's a our Dalmatian and he's Jess's dog. This is one of our new ones. She's actually still got a label on. I haven't actually taken any many of the labels off. This is Rover. He is the little puppy. And if I remember rightly, I think that is Sarah's dog. But I could be wrong. Okay, sorry about that, my camera just cut out what is uh, slightly annoying. But this is, yeah, this is Rover, this is Sarah's dog. Uh, she's one of my new ones, this is the Boxer Puppy. I think she's really cute, I need to take a label off there. Most of my new ones have the labels on, okay, a couple of them haven't. Um, they have like this little house area and I haven't got the um, lid, the um, roof for it because it's just easier to leave it off. But in here we have some like blankets and some cushions and stuff they can sleep on. This is Bobo and Buddy the Bunny's mountain dog. Bobo is owned by Molly and Buddy's owned by Emma. Um, and over here we have, um, this is Snoopy. He's also a new, newer one. I'm not completely sure if he was in my other video or not, I haven't, I can't remember exactly when I got him on, but he's one of my new ones. He's called Snoopy and he is owned by Millie. So they also all have collars on, other than like some of my new ones as I haven't got around to put collars on. So, next to them we have our Falabella pen. They've now had an upgrade so they have a bigger pen now. So at the moment they've just got some, again, some felt, they haven't actually got any grass in here. Um, yeah, Tomei. Put, either put grass in this area and then just be one little area or not because it's quite a small pen like small this little house thing um, so here's like the inside it just got some straw in the bottom of it 
Uh, and then here we have Emerald on my precious little gem. Here's the Falabella Fall. This is Spot or Spotted Dot, the Falabella Gelding. Put the roof back on. Uh, we have Mouse or Gentle Giant. Um, he's my little, he's the other Falabella Gelding. Um, yeah, Gelding. Just thinking about that then. And then there's Fairy Dust. Or little specks of dust. Occasionally she gets called Fairy though. Uh, she's the Falabella Mare. And in the back they have a Wards Trough. And a Feed Trough. What, haven't got any food in at the moment. So that is the, um, first little section. So over here we have my Mare Barns. This is a quick overview of the Mare Barn. So start here and we'll work round. Um, so here we have Smokey. Or, uh, Smoking Chimney. And her foal Twilight or Fighting to Survive. They are the Lipizzana Mare and Foal. Um, so each stable has a stable guard, some straw, then they both have name tags, they have their name tags all on the back. So next to them we have Polo or Popping Candy and Patch or Apache's Wildest Dream. They are the Pintos. No, they're not. They're the Tinkers. This is uh, Dakota or Nature's Finest and Tintin or Titan's Fall. And they're the Arabian um, Falls, their mum you'll see later. This is Fancy or Fancy Flower. Oh no, I changed her name. She's Fancy, Fancy or Bouquet of Flowers. This is Star or Shooting Star. The yeah, Illusions. Here we have Mystery or Cluedo Solved and Ludo or Missing Pieces. Over here we have Snowball or Can't, um, can't Be Tamed. And then we have chocolate or hot pudding, the Camogues. Here we have cocoa or sweet noise. Oh, sorry. Uh, again, this is one of them changed. This is white noise now. And her foal is marshmallow or curse of the treats. Um, here we have Dolly or Melanie Day, and her foal is sapphire. Or um, well, she hasn't. A th a oh, ray of sunshine is her show name. They're the halflingers. Over here we have Wish or Wish Me Luck and Moonshine or Luna Star. And Moonshine also gets called Luna for short. Um, and they're my Lipizzanas. Over here we have my Hanovians. This is Jasper or Daydream Dancer and Conquer at or Golly Gosh. Um, here we have Cressy or Sixteen Lives and her fold is Chestnut or Love Connection um, here we have uh, Maddie or Desert Child and Brandy or First Noel, her fall and she is the limited edition um, Arabian Mare and Fall that came in the Christmas advent calendar what I loved a bit <laughs> she's such a cute mould here we have Dream or My Lady in Pink and her fault is Destiny or Ballet Shoes. Over here we have um, well this, my um, stable guard broke so just the pot at the back just got the rest of the stuff of the stable guard and I'm going to have a go at fixing it but I don't have any pliers what are small enough to really work with this so it may be a little bit tricky <laughs> and I tried with scissors and it didn't work very well. But here we have Juno or Trust in Me and her fold is Talia or America's Last Chance. Over here we have the um, limited edition Trachners from what came with the stable set with like the new stable of accessories. So this is Gypsy. Um, Free Spirit and this is Toby or Toblerone. Next to them we have Rika or Wise Words and Cloud Shooting Arrow. They're my forge. Here we have my other Halflinger and Icelandic Fold but I've put them together. So this is Sunshine or Sour Sugar and her fold is Kiwi or My Treats. And last but not least in this barn we have April or Burning Ember and Bambi. And I can't remember Bambi's show name. So this is my mare barn. So just outside our mare barn, we have the door, what's over there. 
we have these little clips here where pe people can tie ponies up when they're grooming or tacking up. So here we have Bella, or better go, my Arabian mare. She's been tacked up by Sarah, who's about to have a ride. So there, she's just tacking her up at this moment of time. Um, and she did just groom her as well, because the groom box is here. And we also have, over here we have, who's also grooming. This is our wash doll. And here we have Runway, or Born Flight. And he's being groomed by Jenna. Um, he's just yeah, having her doing a routine of grooming. And then this is her dog, Rosie, who follows her around the yard. This is my stallion barn. It also has a gelding in it, but that's only because he doesn't fit in my gelding area. But over here we have, this is Jack. Um, well, Jack Roan or Pocket Rocket. He's the Arabian. This is Drummer. Or beat the drum, he's a Hanovian. Here we have Cracker. Um, also, well, his long name is Cracker Jack, but Cracker for short. Um, and his show name is Bolts and Lining. This is Chester, or Blue Dancer. Magic, he is our, um, he is a gelding, but he doesn't fit in my gelding barn because he's of just the, he's quite a bulky horse. Um, his name is Magician Impossible, and he seems to have got his foot stuck over the door. Because he's getting a bit impatient because he thinks he should be out in the field. Um, this is Charlie Brown or Big and Bold. He is the Tinker Stallion. Here we have Domino or Falling Pieces, the Architect Stallion. This is Phantom or Phantom of the Opera, the Frisian Stallion. That is Runway Stable. This is Apollo or Making Memories. He is the, oh no sorry that isn't, that's not Runway Stable, that's Tire Bat Stable, we see him later. Apollo or Making Memories, the Appaloosa, that's Runway Stable and this is Morello or Electric Blue, uh, he's the Pinto Stallion. So out here in our pens where we normally either put new ponies or ponies who um, are on like Jenna's list and waiting to be um, groomed but they live up at the top so they just bring them down and saves them having to keep going back and forwards so but at the moment our zebra and our donkeys are in here because their pen's being cleaned and then they are going to have some work done in trailer because even though they're used to going in trailers um they because like we rescued them from the circus from being like abused and everything so in so we have to we're going to try and put them back in there again to give them to get used to it because um, we like to just make sure all our horses just in case of emergency can be put in a trailer and also the little foals need training as well so this is stripes um, can't remember her show name and this is zigzag or racing stripes uh, this is felicity or felicity wishes and this is lucy or last wishes so they're just outside in these pens. So over here we have Jade's barn. So this is where all Jade's ponies keep. It's also the way to go out hacking. But start off with we have Flicker's stable. Her collar's just there. Um, we've got some straw, some food, hay, and a water trough. And then they all have an outdoor area. But hers is closed at the minute because it's just easier to tap them up when they're not trying to run around to stay in and out. Um, and then over here we have. Uh, this is Venus, or Goddess of Love. She is my, uh, she's the other Frisian, star, Frisian mare. She's got the same kind of setup, and then she has her foal out here. Who this is Fade or Medusa's Eyes. She is meant to be a, an obstrapper foal, but I love her with Venus, so they just look so cute together. So over here we have Lightning or Zeus's Bolt. He's just having a drink. And then this is Buttons' is stable, but he's out with Jade. So Jade has put her dogs in here. So we have Heidi and Holly. So, also, he's about to go on a hack with Amy and Millie. We have Hannah, who's riding her horse Sky or Working Wonders. So they're just walking out to get ready and get on. Over here, so this is just the back side of Jade's barn. Um, 
we have Amy who is riding her horse Charmer or Charges of Fire and she's taking her dog, this is another new one um, this is Charlie and they're going out for a hack um, we're also taking Myrtle out who is Ben's dog but she's so well behaved she just goes out with and runs with them because she needs a lot of exercise being spoiled to Collie um, here we have Butterscotch or Winter's Creek and her owner Millie is just getting on her right now and then what else, the skies are ready to go they're going to take these guys out okay, so over here we have our new three horses uh, we have our cloak trailer and car you just have to pretend that you can actually fit three ponies in here I know you can't technically in this one but it's the same style as like one where we fit three ponies in down at my yard so we'll just <laughs> use our imagination but to start off with we have this is, let me just see if I can fit it in without knocking the other one over. This is Abby, she's a new Pinto mare. Um, and she's just been taken out of the trailer and she's been waiting to put up in her stable. And her show name is Native Heart. Now this is a complete coincidence because I didn't actually realise. But on the other side of Abby, one of her patches is actually a heart. What well, kind of goes with her show name, but I named her that before I even knew. But I think that's such a good, cute coincidence. I just love it. Um, actually, her, this guy, and this guy who I'll show you in a minute. I wasn't sure really about guessing them at first because, like, they're basically the same mold, just a different repaint. But in the end, I decided to get them, and now I just love them all. I'm so happy I did get them. So over here we have Bruce. He is our boxer dog, and he is the vet's dog, John, who we're going to see in a minute. He's just waiting patiently outside. So over here we have Anne. She's one of our instructors, but she's just helping at the moment. Leading this is Mac. Um, and again, I can't remember his show name. But he has been put into his stable. What is this one here? Um, so she's just leading him in. This was their collar, what was going to go on Mac, but his head is slightly too big, so we've just attached it to um, his stay on high collar. And over here we have Spirit. Again, I can't remember his show name, but he's been checked out by John, and he's also he's just been put into a stable as well. And I just really love them. I just like the colouring on all of these so I just I'm actually really impressed that I bought them so that is the two block over here we have my stallion and gelding paddock at the moment it's got my big boys in it as they're having a break from being in stables um, so at the moment we have Dusty or Dust Devil and he's been a bit nosy and looking what's going on uh, they have a water bowl and some hay over there we have Silver or treasure I think his show name is, I could be wrong and he's having a roll here we have Big Ted or Massive Achievement, the Shy Stallion over here we have Clover or Chance to Shine, he's my Clydesdale Gelding thank you to Gelding and then this is Master or Master of Mischief, he is my Clydesdale Gelding and he has to keep a rug on all the, all the time because he has a bit of a sweet itch problem so that is my stallion and gouging paddock. Over here we have my mare and foal paddock. I think it is, is probably slightly bigger than the stallion gouging's, but oh well, there's normally going to be twice as many as the others in there. There isn't today. It's one of my my so. Um, they also have a stable. They have um sorry like a shed pen. This is some water, and then they have some hay. Um, so here we have Haley, or helping hands. She's the Black Forest mare and this is her fold who is an orphan who's like kind of stuck with her this is moonlight um thrive or thriving this is blaze or blazing fire the shire yearling this is the shire mare sugar mess um i can't remember her show name either this is platinum and her foal coal they are the percherons and over there we have Toffee or Baby Shoes, the Clydesdale. Um, and she's out here without her mum at the moment because her mum is busy at the moment. 
So yeah, that is my mare and foal field. So just over here we have our two carriages or slash wagons. So first of all over here we have Flicker or Forever Wild, this is Jade's horse. But um, she's actually been trained to do some cart work. Um, so she's in my wagon set and this is Dan. Um, and he is actually Jade's grandfather since. So that's why he's kind of allowed to train her. Um, and he used to own the stables until passing it on to Jade. So, and then, so that's, yep, uh, that's an old, like, retired wagon. And then over here we have, this is a Sylvanian wagon, but um, I use it occasionally anyway. We have Blue, or Champion X, the closed down mare, and this is Molly. Um, and she's been taught by Dan like the same time while he's training Flicker to ride her own, to learn how to carry a ride. So yeah, she's she just taking Blue because Blue basically does as she's told and she's such a sweet mare. She's also got Denton, he's the pug, he is Dan's dog. But since Dan won't let him in the carriage with Flicker just in case she runs off, she's going, he's like jumped in the back of Molly. Okay, so moving so on. So the last thing on the floor is my split field, or we sometimes use these as starvation paddocks, individual paddocks, or um, for horses who've been injured, so they can't kind of run around too much. Or as you can see, we've got some foals in here. At the moment, we have Penny and her foal Soda. Uh, his show name is Ginger Ale. Not sure on hers. But she is going to be introduced with Minstrel and her foal Puzzle. You'll see later because they're getting ready to be moved into the Shetland paddock. Over here we have Emma who's just closing the gate after putting Penny in here. Yes, she had to move Penny before the um, zebras could come down. Over here we have my foals. We have, this is my Arde's foal. His name is Cricket. This is Joey, the Tinker Foal. And Midnight, my Frisian Foal. She's out because she gets on really well with Joey. Joey doesn't actually have a mum yet, but I'll be hopefully ordering her later today, so I can't wait for that. Um, and he also doesn't, uh, Cricket doesn't have a mum, but he has a dad, so he um, normally lives with his dad when he's not living with Joey. Um, midnight and Cricket take turns staying in the same stables with Joey to keep him happy. Um, here we have Smudge. He's my limited edition Hanovian, what came with a wash base set. His show name is Cookies and Cream, and he's been injured, so he's out here on so he can like have a walk around but not be too energetic. Um, he's done some uh, tendon damage, so he's just recovering from that. And here we have Storm. Who's our Morgan Gelding? He's shown him Storm Morning, and he's out here because he can't. Be, well, because he couldn't. He has. He gets a bit agitated if he's out in the in his stable for too long, and he can't go out with the big boys because they may trample him. Um, because those like the big boys get on together as themselves, but as soon as you add someone else into the mix, they get a bit upset with the others and going up. So he's out here as well. So this is my split paddock, um, and that is the last thing for the um, floor. So now we move up onto the bookshelf. So over here we have our boarders yard. Um, this is where our boarders go who don't have their horses used as um, school ponies, because most of these ponies, um, these ones, um, occasionally the ones on th in the three block get used as ponies and Jade's band doesn't get used as riding school horses unless Jade's given permission but we have Smudge, Sky, Butterscotch and Charmer's Table and then that takes you up to the next level and there's also like a little school here where the boarders get like priority of using however you can use it so if you book it so Sarah the I think Sarah's going to start up in here until Jade's finished up there but over here um, we have our tap room, so this one you just kind of come up here and then come around here. On the side first of all we have our head collar rack. And then we have our saddles up here. Bridles along there. In the back we have our dog agility stuff. 
um, our lead rain box and extras. We've got rugs in under there, treats on top, a bin, a couple of posters saying like courses don't feed them. Checklist for colic. Um, then we have some more feed at the bottom, feed on the second shelf, some trophies, ribbons, uh, another poster, buckets, and then a grooming kit and the tools go here. Um, and then this is the twins, Mia and Nia, um, and then they are just tack cleaning their stuff and they're using what they do put, um, it's what the dress our saddle normally goes but as their dresser saddle is in use, they are cleaning their tack on there at the moment. So that is the tack room and the boarders yard. Up here is the big horses. So our heavy horses live up here. Um, it's not very practical, like kind of the stable layout, but when it's space isn't wouldn't really because like if to get into these back stables here, this horse can't be in its stable, and the same with that side. So anyway. If you come in, you come up this way, um, and then you go around back out this way, and then to get into here, you have to go through this stable. So, this is Silver Stable, Big Ted, Sugar Mouse, and Blaze, Haley and Moonlight, uh, Platinum and Coal, Blue and Toffee, Clover, Master, and Dusty. Okay, so if you've gone through this stable, you've come over here. This is our, one of our small pony pens. Um, so yeah, this is one of our small pony pens. Then over here we have t uh, Caramel and Frosty, who are our uh, Dartmoor and Fell pony. They are at the moment having a little nosy what's going on. Here we have Albert, our Pinto yearling. He's been taken away from his mother because she's not actually now been put in the retired pen so he's getting kind of used to being out on his own before he starts being backed and we have a water trough the fence and then up here we have like all the name tags for the horses are in there so we've got all there uh, this is cinnamon or premier she's a retired icelandic but i say she's my icelandic yearling this is blue Blue Muffin or just Blue Brief um, or her show name is Stained Glass, she's the limited edition Icelandic Mare. In the back over here we have Brownie um, or Chocolate Delight, she's my Dartmoor Mare. And right at the back we have Coffee Bean or Rush of a Lifetime, she's my Fell Pony. And she's not a riding, um, and she's not a rider school pony. She does normally just be used by her rider Emma, but she's up out here anyway because um, she's one of the small ones. So now we're going to move up again. So up here is the three block and the small boy pen. Uh, the, well, we've got another three block as such. So you can't really call it three block though anymore because technically it's got four stables. But, oh well. Um. First of all, we have Bo, and I cannot remember his show name, but Bo, he's the R Days Stallion. Um, here we have Legacy or Allegro. Um, yeah, show name's Allegro, and he's being groomed by Maddie. Got a grooming kit here. This is Legacy Stable, but it's closed the door so it doesn't hit his head. This is Smarty and she, or Speedy Samantha, and she is being groomed by Lucy. And this is Daisy Stable, but Daisy's out at the moment. And then at the back, this is where this door normally stays open. This is where, because this fell off, it broke. It did go over there, but it's broken. Um, this is where the folds go, or where Sunshine and her foal will live when my new Jinka Mare comes because they're going to swap stables. Or I may put the Jinka Mare up here, I have no idea yet. <laughs> but, and then, like, there's the entrance there. Over here we have the um, little ponies. So, this is Sandwich or PBJ. This is Bubbles or Pop the Bubble. And that is Miss, Miss Stable, who's out at the moment. 
So here's the dark one, here's the mini shetty. And then to get into their pen, you've got to go through there. So again, he can't be any stable. Very easy. Uh, so here is the Shetland pen. So this is where all our Shetlands live. So we have again our two folks who've been a bit nosy. Got Locket and Minstrel, who's going to be taken out to the split field in a minute. And have a water trough, all of their stickers. Uh, sorry, name tags. Here we have Arrow, or Bow and Arrow. He's my Shetland repaint. This is um, Knight, or my Knight and Shining Armor. He's also a well, they're all Shetlands. He's the Gelding. This is Locket, or Valentine's Day. Henry, or Minus Frolic. Minstrel, or Pied Piper. So that is my Shetlands. Now we're going to move up again. So this is our next level, this has got our, m m mostly our school ponies but it's basically my mares with no foals and my geldings, um, but I have got, a c but it's also got a couple of stallions, they're just the riding school ones. Um, so here we have our office, we have a board, nothing's written on it, um, we have a broken, uh, we have, uh, yeah, this is just one of the um, stable guards. Uh, this is our kitten. These actually, they're our barn cats, but they are belong to Anne. So we have, this is Oreo, Bourbon and Toffee. Okay, and then in this first level we have Lady. She, or Luck Can Be Cured. She's my Hanovian. This is Smarty Stable, this is Evie or Evelyn Star, and I can't remember her show name either, <laughs> but she's the Icelandic. And this is going to be Abby Stable, when she's brought up. At the back we have River, who is our Forge Stallion, I think he's a stallion. Yeah, but um, his door is closed because I can't. He's lost both of his stable guard sections. I need to fix that. This is Wendy. He's my limited edition Atlantic Stallion. Um, or his show name is Girl Force. His show name is Poseidon Stream. This is Sparky or Spark the Night. He's my Lipizzan Gelding. This is Storm Stable, and this is Tinker or Lucky Charm. Okay, and then if you go through the doors there, you'll come out into the zebra and donkey pen. Um, so again, they have fence, they have a water bowl, and theirs has got like a little kind of, it's a South African theme on it, as my friend bought it back from South Africa. It had sweets in it, but that was a water dish. <laughs> um, here we have one of my new dogs. This is Princess, she is owned by Grace. She's a boxer mare. Um, this is the bucket. Uh, she's just grabbing the bucket because she likes to hold buckets. Uh, we have the pitchfork here. And then Grace at the moment is just brushing the straw up. Um, and then again they have their name tags at the top. So that is the next level. And this is the last level. Um, so this is like our school, so it's split into two areas, we normally have flat work in this one and then jump in this one just because this one's slightly bigger but with the bigger groups they go in the bigger one. So here we have Jade who is bareback jumping buttons, who's her horse, um, it's just got my bareback pad on it, what I made, um, and the hackamore. So it did have like a proper girth with velcro on it but it broke so I've got to fix it and then it's got a clip uh -huh. to attach to a martingale to keep the pad in place. Um, and then he's in the hackamore. He's also got the jumping boots on so they're just doing a bit of back jumping. Over here we have our jump storage. This is Tybat or Tyrannosaurus Rex and he's been ridden by Sam or uh, yeah, Sam. I think he actually looks so pretty in the western set, it's not really meant to be for him because you think of Tennessee Walkers, they're more of dressage horses but he just looks so cute in that set. 
Here we have um, Jess, who's riding her horse Mist, um, and Ben, who is the instructor, and she's doing her girth up and checking her stirrups. Um, and here we have Zoe, who is riding Daisy, who again looks really nice in that set. They're just really pretty together, and I. Um, Sorry, Miss, I forgot to say, Miss show name is Frozen in Time, and that's Daisy. And again, I can't remember her show name. So that is the end. So guys, that was the end of the barn tour. Um, as I gave you an overview at the beginning, I probably won't do an overview at the end. Because um, a lot of things have gotten knocked over in the process. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I've just got one quick thing. I want to say thank you again for the sub all my subscribers. Um, I yeah, I do have now got an Instagram account, so it's Silver Shoe, but spelt the same way my channel spelt. Uh, uh, one nine nine. Uh, so I will post. Uh, I try and post daily updates, but all the time of photos of my barn. Um, also, I want you guys to help pick out a um pick out a model horse like it's got to be one of the current ones or such one that's not retired so it's not going to cost too much of what you think actually looks like my horse uh rhapsody so i'm going to try and do a custom but i'm not completely sure of what model suits her so what i'll do is i'm going to insert a picture now Um, and you guys can comment below what model you think. Uh, the two I have maybe thinking of was either Jasper's Mole, the new Hanovian, or the Trichnomer, but I don't know, it's up to you guys what you think would suit her the best. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe. Peace!